Ashton's not here today, but he's not exactly off. He's in Lake <laughs> Tahoe attending mm -hmm. a weather conference with TV meteorologists from around the country. How does he get these fun gigs? That's what I want to know. So this year, the conference is focusing on really a new reality for us. More extreme wildfires in the West, including here in our state. Hey, good morning. I, I really am working. I promise you guys. I'm here at a conference. I'm at Operation Sierra Storm. Currently, I'm on the south shore of Lake Tahoe here at the beautiful Heavenly Mountain Resort. We are learning all sorts of things this week about uh, what's happening with weather models and big improvements to the weather models, which will eventually mean better, more accurate forecasting for Colorado. And of course, the wildfire season is right around the quarter. And I do want to bring in uh, Dr. Lim Rowe. He's uh, from the University of Nevada at Reno. Thanks so much for talking with us. You had an yeah, amazing presentation here. here at the uh, the conference today. Tell me about what you're doing with radar and wildfires. Yeah, well, like you mentioned, uh, better modeling uh, is in the future, but better modeling requires better observations. And what we're trying to do is use the same tools that we use to look at severe thunderstorms, that is weather radars, weather lidars, to look at the dynamics of wildfires, in particular, the smoke plumes that they produce and some of the winds generated by those fires. Here in the middle of winter, we don't think about wildfires very often, but wildfire season's right around the corner. You have a lot of wildfires here in California. We tend to have quite a few in Colorado as well. And so eventually we should see this radar technology be deployed even in our state, back home in Colorado. Yeah, absolutely. And Colorado is really a hotbed for some of the research going on, especially in wildfire modeling. modeling. And the hope is to use some of the observations that we collect to inform and refine the models that are being produced so that we'll have a better prediction, better real-time understanding of where fire is, where it's going, how strong it's going to be. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Huge improvements coming uh, whenever wildfires uh, break out in Colorado. You guys, I'm going to be back with you tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Right now, let's toss it back over to Chris Spears talking about the latest on the snow chances today. Chris? All right, Ashton. Well, safe travels to you. You're going to have a cloudy descent as you come into Denver today.